Captain and Tangela too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to ya! Creature features! And all creatures! London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. I refuse. Oh, come on, mate. It is childish and jejune. I'll, I'll throw in another day to your upcoming holiday. My fair lady. Brilliant! Welcome to Creature Vicious. I'm your happy crooner and host of the show, Vincent. The talented little kazoo operator to the side is my lovely housemate, Tangella. And the handsome baritone bloke on this end is my beleaguered butler, Mr. Livingston. And have we a most stupendous and spectacular program in store for you. First, as alluded to in our prior musical number, we shall have some coverage of London Bridge. Namely because we will present Terror at London Bridge from 1985. This is actually a rather nice film, starring David Hasselhoff, Stephanie Kramer, Adrian Barbeau, and Randolph Mantooth. What? Mantooth? He, he portrayed paramedic John Gage on the television series Emergency for seven years. This old prune needs to watch more American television, I should say. Onward. The film's premise revolves around the true fact that the real and original London Bridge was moved, of all places, to Lake Havasu, Arizona. Mysterious murders begin to occur on the bridge and the investigating magistrates begin to hypothesize that it is the ghost of Jack the Ripper seeking revenge upon the unsuspecting members of the Lake Havasu City Council for putting his favorite water crossing in the middle of the bloody desert. Or something like that. Join us to watch this Victorian-inspired tale will be an equivalently inspired woman that goes by the regal title of Countess Blanca. The Countess is well known at conventions in these parts for her sense of fashion and graceful style. However, she's more known for the menagerie of creepy baby dolls she has in tow whenever she's out and about. Simmer down, young lady. Word has it that she's somewhat rather possessive of a collection of poupées and may not be amenable at all to sharing them with the likes of you. In any case, she'll tell us all about these dolls, chat with us about her many appearances, and tell us what she thinks of tonight's cinematic gem. So don't go away, for it's been another night of London Bridge Delight, right here on Creature Features. <laughs> Stay tuned. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. Welcome to Creature Features. You know, it's it's my favorite time of the week. That's great. No, it is my favorite time of the week because not because I'm doing Creature Features, but because, but because all of my friends are watching the show. Great. And they're going to be watching you. And I'm going to be so happy about that. We are with Countess Blanca, and uh, you've got quite a tale behind you, and we're going to get into that. But uh, first, first the formalities. How was the trip up? Great. No, no problems with birds. No. No problem with tidal waves? No. You know, it's happened before. We've had guests come and they say, I'm sorry, I couldn't make it. There was a tidal wave. 
Or the birds stop me. No, the birds just poop on the car. Yeah. No, that's that's a problem. People come with dirty cars, and yeah, you know, sometimes Livingston will wash the car for them when he feels bad. But oh, yeah, no, it's that's happened. So, nice. Who is this little thing you have with you? This is my baby Dante. Dante. Yes. He's That's my a, little vampling. It is a vampling. Look at that. And he's sleeping, don't, don't Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah, he's wonderful. so wonderful. He's such a good sleeper. He obviously is. No, and uh, it's it's nighttime, so he should be awake soon. Right? Yes, pretty soon. Right, no, because these types of babies sleep during the day. We're going to yeah. talk about all this, okay. this thing you do. But uh, first, uh, Terra at London Bridge. Have you seen this film? No. You have not seen this film. This is this is <laughs> one of the newest films we've shown. It's 1985. Oh. And it's got David Hasselhoff. You wow. know him? Yes. From Baywatch. And yes. didn't he also do the uh, show with a car? Was that yes. him? Yes. With the, with the kit car. What was that? Kit. Called? Knight Rider. Knight he, Rider. He was the Knight Rider. And yes. now tonight he is a, a detective in this film, I understand. So. Great. No. I loved him in... Night Rider. It's going to be a fun film, and uh, we're going to watch it, and we're going to find out more about uh, Blanca and her babies. But uh, what do you say we start this film? Okay. All right. Let's off do it. We go. Terror at London Bridge, 1985. Don't go away. It's going to be a fun night. This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. Welcome back to Creature Features. If you're just joining us, you're late. What do you, how do you deal with late people, Blanca? Um, not very well. Not very well. It's, it's somewhat rather impolite, is it not? Yes. But, you know, it's not like we were waiting for them. I mean, if they just want to walk in in the middle of the show, that's, that's fine. So, But you missed the beginning of our film, which is, I, not much has happened. I mean, a woman was murdered. Oh, no. Right, it was terrible. That was, that was terrible. awful. But uh, anyway, so we are with Countess Blanca and... Uh, You've brought out another one of your creepy babies. You know, they're adorably horrible. Yeah. Should I say they're hideously cute? Yes. Hideously cute. So who is this one? This is Celeste. Celeste. And she, you, you named this this thing. Yeah. Celeste. Why? Because she is the celestial sky. Oh, I see. So Celeste, like Celeste. Is that what Celeste means? The name Celeste? Yes. I never knew that. I thought it was just like a, a brand of cheese or something like that. No, it's celestial, all right. Celestial. No, that makes perfect sense. Yes. I should know these things. You know, I'm, I'm well read. I, 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 I'm not very good at recovery of this well read information. But, well, um, we all have that little bit of a right. problem. So these are obviously dolls, right? Yes. Right. To yeah. you or no? They're real to me. Oh, nice. Well, uh, they shall be real to me as well. So uh, in the middle of the night, do they get up and walk around and wreak havoc? The werewolves, the werewolves um, will go out and full uh, moon. on the full moon. The full. We and have tonight it's the full moon. Right. So right. we have to kind of keep a watch on them. Right. Because they'll go out and wreak havoc upon the good citizens. Yes. Right. And we've been told that they've been out. 
So oh, we have really have right. to watch them. Well, I suppose they can't cause too much trouble at that size, right? Oh, they can. Oh, really? We've been trying to socialize them a lot. I, I would imagine they might nibble upon a chihuahua or two. Yeah. Right. No, that could be problematic. Yeah, mm. we find strange bones. Oh, strange bones. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I find strange bones too, but I, I know the source. It's Tangella. <laughs> oh, she digs up bloody graves. Oh, my goodness. Right? No, she's, she's like the bone collector, except, uh, you know, she wears fine clothing. So, I don't know. That's what do you great. say we get back to this film? Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, off we go back to Terra at London Bridge. And uh, when we come back, uh, we're going to do some letters. But after that, we'll be back with Blanca and more of her amazing babies. See you soon. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Welcome back to the show. Miss Blanca stepped away for a moment. You know, I think she's, she's going to bring another one of those creepy babies out. That's delightful, aren't they? She brought her creepy baby out, and mm. I think yeah, hers are bigger than Blanca's, so I think uh, there's a bit of an issue there. Anyways, uh, we're going to take this opportunity to read mail because you send us mail every week, and if we don't read it, then we make people angry, do we not? They become somewhat disconcerted. That's right, that's right. What do you got for me, Mr. Livingston? Chris Dunn in Ozark, Missouri. Chris Dunn in Ozark, What in God's name happened to your head? I'll oh. tell you about it later. One of those, eh? It's not her in her trebuchet again, is it? I believe that's what they call that oh, device. Good Lord. So, she all has, right. She hasn't well, learned how to aim it. She has to learn how to aim her trebuchet. Very nice. All right. Chris Dunn in Ozark, Missouri, writes to us. And what's he got to Oh, this is a long letter. I can tell right now already. He goes, uh, hello to my three favorite people in California. This is my third letter to you. I thought, I thought we had a one-per-customer policy. Well, it's difficult to adhere to. Oh, because you'd have to have like a database exactly. and look up each... Right, right. No, that could be Excel confusing. Excel spreadsheet. Right. I'll try to keep this one less wordy, as you referred to me as loquacious in my last one. By the way, as I write this, I'm watching you stream Beast from Haunted Cave. That was a long time ago. Quite a bit. Right. You guys are my favorite way to cap off Saturday. I don't know if you get tired of people suggesting movies, but a few weeks back, someone suggested The Lost Skeleton of Cadavra. That actually is a good suggestion. I love that film. It's an homage movie from 2004, but made to look like it's from 1954. All right. A quick pro tip on creature features. If it was made in the 21st century, we can't afford it. Right. Have we ever shown, other than something independently done, we've never shown any new films. We've had a couple of directors and they've allowed right. us to show them. Low budget things, that's yeah. fine. All right, it's written and directed by Larry Blemeyer, who would also make a great guest if you were ever to run the movie. He's very funny and I'm pretty sure he lives in California. Much love to all at the Polter Mansion and thank you for the new Saturday Night Tradition, your friend in the Ozarks, Chris. P.S. I may have said this before, but I feel it bears repeating. Independent content creators like you on YouTube are becoming the new celebrities and would make very interesting guests. Well, you know, I don't think we're quite popular on YouTube, though, right? Not popular enough to be no, invited you know, anywhere. More people need to subscribe, and if they did, we would. So, yeah. Chris says that uh, you should subscribe to our station, other viewers, because... Uh, push the red button. Push the red button. Not the one that says bomb, the one that says subscribe. Next up, Mr. Livingston. This is from Vero, Florida. Vero, Florida. You know, we've got a lot of new viewers in, Beach, in, Florida. in Florida. I wonder what it is. Did we pick up a station in Florida? A station or two. What in God's name is this? 
Should I give it to her? Or is it something dangerous? I've already approved oh. it. So all right, all right. Here, it's not you dangerous. Take that. You take that, and I shall read. It might the cost money, though. You're just all mumbly tonight. Are you sure that this injury on your brain did not affect your thinking? I'm not quite sure. I oh, like you've given me a novel. All right. Uh, who's this from? Don. Don, I'm not going to read this entire note because you've sent me an entire... Oh, money? I'll read his note if you sent us gold. Oh, what is this? Gold Those doubloons look... and pieces of eight. Those look like tokens for video games. All right, well, maybe I'll read some of it. He goes, uh, Dear Vincent, Mr. Livingston, Tangela and crew, greetings from Vero Beach, located on the treasure coast of Florida. Oh, I see he sent us treasure. Oh. Right? Uh, our area is called Treasure Coast because of the large number of ships sunk by foul weather as well as English privateers. Maybe they're just regular privateers. Maybe they were not British. And Portuguese buccaneers, French marauders, and assorted picaroons. Yeah, that's a nice one. Picaroon. Never heard that one before. Picaroon. A picaroon. Or two. During the 18th century. Of note was the loss on July 31st, 1715 to a massive hurricane of 10 Spanish treasure ships and over 1,000 lives. Hey, this is like a history lesson. Uh, all right, so he goes, you have a growing fan base here in the Sunshine State, and we appreciate the work all of you put into creating an excellent entertainment experience. Well, thank you. While we are currently limited to watching your antics on YouTube, we look further to watching for the syndication availability on local stations. Uh, interest in your show has generated some questions. I wonder if you would answer a few now. As compensation, I have sent you some faux treasure coins modeled after those recovered by Mel Fisher, who found the wreck of... The one of the 1750 treasure ship, the Atoka. All right, here he goes. Uh, question one. How would you describe Tangela's accent? It seems a real killer to classify. Yeah, she's just like the silent and deadly kind. I, I don't know how to describe it. How, how would you describe her accent? I think that was a strange formulation you just made. How oh, was it? All right. Uh, question two. May I presume Mr. Livingston is related to the famous Dr. Livingston, who is the journalist Henry M. Stanley, was dispatched to find... In the 1860s. I'm not quite that old. No, and he's, he's not British, he's, he's German, so. Question three, Vincent, when you finally reach your demise, do you want to be buried or cremated? As a follow-up, if cremated, would you prefer to be added to hot or iced coffee, perhaps breakfast tea? I am scheduled to be frozen, my friend. In fact, I can prove it to you right here. See this? This, this says, if I die, to call that number, and they will come and pick me up and freeze this me. Is, this is true. This is absolute truth. So I shall be frozen, and I will see you all in 300 years when they figure out how to unfreeze me and fix whatever killed me. Right? Indeed. Right. All right. Keep up the good work. Stay creepy, and know that you have many fans on the Treasure Coast. We need to go to the Treasure Coast. They send ships. They must have a casino. They must have a casino as well. How wonderful. Thank you so much for the wonderful note. Next up, Mr. Livingston. There's one from Dubner. Mr. Dubner. Dubner. German name. It's Dubner, because he, he actually spelt it phonetically right here, Dubner. All right, greetings, dear ones. My wife and I are both ministers. I've never heard of that. Husband, wife, minister, team. Yes. One can are. work on Saturday, one can work on Sunday, and I bet they switch. Uh, we will be retiring at the end of August after 40 years of pastoral ministry. Recently, we moved to a smaller home that we share with our cats, George and Gracie. That's wonderful. I hope they're boy and girl cats, because that would be odd. One would imagine. Right. Sadly, we could not bring our raccoons. Well, she's got some you could borrow. Uh, while moving, we were browsing through our offerings on the Internet and found a most delightful program called Creature Features. We enjoy the amazing host, the stoic and humorous Mr. Livingston, the lovely and dangerous young lady, Miss Tangella, and the victimized yet kind Mr. Andrew, and then the most amazingly sweet Mr. Vincent. See, I told you. They we, don't know you. Believe me, you, you have to listen to them. The ministers, they know what they do. They speak the truth. A most amazing cast. I want to thank Mr. Livingston for the recently received letter, picture, and a pair of Miss Tangella's gloves. Oh, they must be... Uh, Sponsors of the show. Yes. Right. Patreon. He sent some of your gloves. No, she, she goes through them like socks. They're like hand socks, right? That's basically what they are. It's a good thing she has clean hands. Uh, what a joyful surprise. We are ordering a special frame for the gifts. I know you are busy, but I want to thank you 
and Mr. Vincent for the way you respect your guests. As a minister, I know how challenging some people can be to engage. You are a true master of interviews and offering each person a chance to share their life with us. You are amazingly patient and kind. All in all, Sunday afternoons are much better with Creature Features. Keep up the awesome work and God bless. Yours with regards, blessings and appreciation, Reverend D. Kent Dubner and Reverend Carla Dubner. Yes, our name is very German. Well, thank you so much, and uh, it's it's nice. You know, this is like appreciation day for me. Mm -hmm. I, I've gotten two wonderful comments. You know, that typically doesn't have it. This is Texas. Wonderful. Texas. Oh, I love Texas. Dear Vince, uh, this is from uh, Randy Whitlock in China, Texas, of all places. Interesting. He goes, uh, Dear Vince, you look like a sloth. I bet you smell like one, too. That is all. Randy Whitlock. There's always one. Well, you know, with a name like Randy, you know, he, I bet they don't even know what that means here. I don't think so. Yeah, uh, Randy, you should Google Randy what it means in Britain, and then you might think different. China, is that a real place? Yes. No, China is in China. There, and Texas is in Texas. There's a Rome, New York. But there's, China, Texas? Yes. Rome is a city name. China is a country name. I think he's fibbing. I don't know. Is that it? That's it. That is it for mail. If you'd like to send us mail of your own by email, send it to the address you see over here. Or if you'd like to send a nice package with, what'd you call them? Doubloons and pieces Dubloons, of eight. Then send it to the postal address you see right here. We'll be back soon with Miss Countess Blanca. But first, let's get back to Terra at London Bridge. See you soon. Store.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature Accessories. You know, my, my hair keeps going flat. How do you get your baby's hair to stay up? Pigtails. Oh, you know, I think I'd look nice with pigtails. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, may, maybe after the show you can you can do. I can do pigtails like on that. you. No, maybe I can get like a hairnet like you have. Oh yeah. I don't know. Welcome back to the show. We are talking hair on creature features. I I should call this hair creature features, because okay. that's like a hair creature, right? Yes, she's pretty hairy. She is. So tell me about this one. She's a werewolf. Right. Her name is Luna, like the moon. Luna. That's a and good name for a female werewolf, right? Yes. And she was my second baby. Second baby. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So, you know, we haven't gotten the origin story on these. How did you get into this? Shall I call it a hobby or a, a mothering job? Yes, it's more of a mothering. Right. Um. I got my first werewolf um, as a comfort. Right. And then, of course, they're like potato chips. Once you've got one, you can't stop. So you eat these? No. Oh, all right. <laughs> no, but okay. they're addicting. Oh, I see. So they come um, to join the family. Right, right. So, so what are we up to now? Seven. Seven. That's not too bad. That's mm. like... The Brady Bunch plus uh, the, the, the housekeeper. Yes. Right? <laughs> you know, you've got a Brady Bunch. That, that, that's nice. That's nice. So, oh, my God, I, the way the eyes glisten, it's, uh, I hope we're catching this on the camera because it's, uh, it's Their amazing. eyes follow you. They follow you. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got paintings in this household that do the same thing. Yes. No, it's, it's, it's slightly disturbing, only slightly. So you got into this, and this was how long ago you started? Um, three years ago. Three years ago. So you're averaging 2.2 2 
babies <laughs> per year. <laughs> yes. right, we're gonna we're gonna bring the whole bunch up at the end, but uh, okay. and now you do you do you do conventions and things like that, right? Yes. Right. Right. And yeah. then what's the reaction you get? Um, amazement. Right. Unbelievable. Right. And everybody wants to hold them. Of course. Right. Right. Now and this one is just smiling at me. I don't know how to react <laughs> to this. Hello, baby. So realistic. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Should we get back to this film? Oh, yes. All right, let's get back to Terra London Bridge. And uh, we'll be back with uh, Countess Blanca soon. Don't go away. Creature Features. Hello, this is Mimi and Mark Anthony calling. We want to say thank you so much for being on the air. He comes over my grandson every other weekend, and we just want to say thank you. We never miss it. But bye for now. Welcome back to Creature Features. If you're just joining us, I, I really don't know what to say. I, I'm, I'm without words. But that's all right, because you're with us, and that's what matters, right? Right. So we are with Miss Blanca, Countess Blanca. And who is this young lady? This is Morgana Fay. Morgana Fay. Yes. She is the dark fairy from King Arthur. She does not look very dark to me. She looks she looks She's quite a little vampire. Oh, she does have teeth. Look at that. Yeah. And She's a little vampire kind. Yeah, and she could just simply be a sharp toothed little Vulcan girl as well, mm -hmm. could she not? Mm-hmm. Right. Maybe <laughs> maybe the illegitimate daughter of Mr. Spock. Maybe. Right. That would be great. The hair though. The hair gives it away. I, I think yeah. it's a different father. Anyway, that yeah. one's wonderful. So the other ones look somewhat rather dead. And this one looks alive and ready to go play. Yeah. Or kill. She is honestly. very playful. Right, right. Mm -hmm. These things, these are so realistic. You know, I don't know if this is coming across on screen, but uh, in person, these, they, they look so real. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I must ask, what, what's, what's something like this run? $900. $900? $900 bloody American dollars. Mm -hmm. You know what? They're, they're, these are handmade, right? These are not like made in a factory in oh, no. Japan. No. Yeah. They're all hand painted. They're incredible. They're all, every hair is put in individually. And they've got over 50 layers of paint on them to make them look 50 real. 50 layers of paint, not to mention the, the fine clothing as well. I make a lot of their clothes. Right, right. So at this convention, you recently you told me during the break that you went to a convention called what? Freak Show. Freak show, and that was in uh, Sacramento. Sacramento. What do yeah. they do there? It was the oddity and curiosity uh, oh, nice. show, nice. and it was called Freak Show. And we had a photo booth, and then you, uh huh, and your own photo booth. Yes. Oh, so people could come and have pictures taken with the babies. Oh, how wonderful! Or they could hold a baby. Right. And um, and we have a cemetery backdrop. Nice. With a big moon. How beautiful. So you're going to be doing more conventions as well, right? Yes. And how do we find out more? You have a website? Yes. Blanca's Bewitching Babies. Blanca's Bewitching Babies dot com, I take it. Right, right. Yes. Blanca's Bewitching Babies dot com. How, how wonderful. So uh, you, you, you will have some kind of list of appearances you'll be doing where people could come meet you. Yes. And the babies. Yes. And uh, do a photo. Yes. How fun. No, these are these are wonderful. And they look absolutely realistic. There's no you know, oh. in a photo, mm -hmm. maybe maybe not in video they, they don't, but in, in a photo they would look absolutely smashing. All right, what do you say we get back to Terra at London Bridge? I think we should. We should get back to it and find out what happens. And as far as you folks are concerned, go make some popcorn or something, but wait till after the movie and before we come back. See you soon.
Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear I have been tasked with requesting you to help our show financially by visiting our patron page. Your generosity will help us keep Creature Features on the air. With only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new entertainment for your viewing pleasure each and every week. And if you have the desire to give more, you might even receive a gift from Tangela. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to the show. We are joined with by Miss Tangella, who could not keep herself contained because she she loves these things. Hey, she's got nothing as nearly as nice as this because I will not spend a thousand dollars to. Aww. Well, uh, you're an adult. You can afford that. She's she's she cost me enough money as it is. No, I had to replace all the windows on our neighbor's home. <gasps> Oh, no. No, she's got this ridiculous <laughs> trebuchet she built, and she was sending rocks down the neighbor's house. Oh, yeah. look at her hiding. So, so. Anyway, she, she'll play with yours for a moment. Who do we have out now? This is, uh, this is Blaze. Blaze. Yes. Because he's flame-like? Yes, look in right. his eyes. Right. No, and he'll he, follow you. He, he, no, he looks like he might uh, grow up to be like an Igor type. Oh, to help yeah. with, like, in the laboratory, maybe. Mm -hmm. So and is he, that a vampire or a wolf? I, I cannot tell. This is a werewolf. All right. And he is silicone instead oh. of vinyl, like my other Is babies. that better? He just feels different. Right. Like and moves Better or move worse? Oh, I love them different. both. All right. No, she loves them. And this one? This is Gaia. She's the Earth. All right. Of and course, she Gaia. is a rescue from France. A rescue? Mm -hmm. How does one rescue a pupae? Well, people buy them and put them in glass cages in oh, their living room. All right. And I don't like that. They need to be out socialized. Oh. And so we rescued her from France. Right. So did you have to fly to France to do this? or? No, she flew to us. Oh, nice. Nice. So when you, when you ship something like this, does it like take a seat or does it? fly in the cargo in the cargo because it's car safer car. for right. the people well it's pets that's where they put the pets right yeah so are these like pets to you yes they're like pets they are. but they you are. call them babies i suppose well, people, they are babies she's, she's called her her puppy baby before so mm -hmm. i suppose that's uh right <laughs> all right in new orleans you mentioned you're going to be in new orleans oh yes when? we're at a haunted mansion in new orleans at a haunted in mansion in new orleans in april and we'll be doing a show there where there will be artists that will have all the babies. Tell me, is this house called the Rising Sun? 
the house? There's a house in New Orleans called the Rising Sun. <laughs> no, no, it's true. This is the yeah. Magnolia Mansion. Magnolia Mansion. And, and you're going to be there haunted. doing a, some kind of show. Yes. We're going to have a vendor fair where artists come with their babies. Oh, nice. And they're all different. Every artist has their own style right. of babies. Right. And um, we're going to be at the Haunted Mansion. How and fun. I know for a fact that it is haunted. Oh. Um, well, now, now you're going to be our ghost expert. Because, yeah. uh, you know, we have ghost people on all the time. So... Uh, Never I, has a ghost person, though, brought anything as, as wonderfully horrid <laughs> as these small little things. All right, well, what do you say, Countess Blanca? Why don't we finish up this film? Okay. And then uh, when we come back, uh, we'll talk more about uh, what you're doing. We'll bring up your website again, and uh, we'll wrap up the show. Okay, All that right. sounds good. Off we go back to the end of Terra at London Bridge. Don't go away, because I hear there's a wonderful ending to this film. I don't know what it is, but I heard it is good. See you soon. Bye. Well, that brings an end to uh, Terra at London Bridge. You know, I I don't know about this film. I, the explanation was not very plausible to me. What did you think, love? Yeah, she believed it. That's what counts. So uh, we'll show this film again someday. I don't know when, but it's it's not a bad film. I, I liked it. Don, what did you think of the film? I loved it. You loved it. So Don, he's, he's uh, your significant other, and he helps you with this whole baby management, and he's... No, he's, he's like, he wears the part. Mm -hmm. You two look like you, you came out of a time machine mm. from the Victorian period. Yes. Well, but, she taught all that to me. I was oh, a, she did. I only had a pirate outfit before I met oh, her. Oh, I love pirate outfits. You know, she drags uh, me to the pirate festival sometimes. But, you know, I don't think I look very good in a tricorn hat. Mm. No, so I, I think it's a certain look. You have to have, like, a certain regal look like he has. I, I don't have it. Anyways, uh, so uh, you help her do all this stuff. I'm the Sherpa. You are the Sherpa. And I suppose sometimes, like, for birthdays, you've got to buy another baby, right? Uh, I agreed to one. Oh, you bought a one. Lucian. Oh, that one. And who is this one? This is Lucian. He Lucian. is the light. And he's got a pink nose. Yeah. I think he's Labrador. <laughs> right? No, I I, so uh, the wolf, I mean, it's, they, they must they're be different, different breeds, right? Yes, they are yeah. different breeds. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes absolute perfect sense. And the clothing you were saying was made where? In Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Yes, uh, by an artist there. That's gorgeous. She makes everything by hand. I was going to say, there's lots of craftsmanship and arts. Look it. Oh, oh my goodness. Now, he looks like he's got that getup from the, the bloke in that last Dracula film. Yes. Yeah. Right? No, <laughs> yes. that's, that was intentional. I think you should save that for one of your Dracula babies. No? Yes, I may have to have another one made. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, so uh, one more time, the website, what is it again? It's BlancasBewitchingBabies.com. BlancasBewitchingBabies.com. You can learn more about the hobby. You could learn more about your upcoming shows. And uh, just learn all kinds of wonderful things about and you. And get a chance to hold the babies. And Everyone wants to hold to the babies. Everybody wants to hold the babies. All right. Well, absolutely wonderful. Thank you guys for coming to the show and bringing the babies and uh, getting all dressed up for us. And as far as you guys go, uh, thank you for watching our little program. We know you could be probably sleeping or doing something else rather productive, but you watched our show instead. And for that, we love you. We'll see you next week. So, uh... Blanca, you know, I'm thinking if I were to commission one of these babies to be made to look like me, how do you think it'd come out? Horrible. <laughs> <laughs>